Hello, parents. I am Mr. Takish. I'm your child's eighth grade English teacher. So got a PowerPoint made for you guys. Going to kind of go through there with you all. Go ahead and start. All right, so like I said, I'm Mr. Takish. Just a few things about me, just so you guys can just know a little bit more about me. This is my sixth year at Baldwin. I am a Baldwin alum. I went to school there from sixth through 12th grade. I graduated in 2011, then went on to the University of Florida, graduated from there in 2015, and then been back at Baldwin ever since. Um, I am heavily involved in Baldwin, especially with athletics. I've coached three different sports since I've been here. I currently still do coach. Uh, middle school baseball and i'm also currently the high school assistant athletic director and if you ever go to football games i'm also the pa announcer for football games like i said um i do a lot for baldwin i care about baldwin and so of course i'm invested for your child's education being a baldwin student so i'm gonna go ahead and get into what to expect with my class so some key notes of course this is language arts three just stands for eighth grade language arts Main textbook students will use uh, has online access. Students should know how to get to that. Um, I put it in here just in case. Um, they will go to the blended learning folder, which if they have a student laptop, uh, that is on the desktop home screen. And if not, they access blended learning from the DCPS website. Uh, if there's any confusion with that, um, please email me. But like I said, go to blended learning and click on my HRW and you will see the online textbook. We'll have three novel readings throughout the year, To Kill a Mockingbird, The Diary of Anne Frank, and Mythology, Timeless Tales of Gods and Heroes. Um, online students will have to get a copy of To Kill a Mockingbird and Mythology, uh, but they may borrow from me as long as I have extra copies. So I've been telling a lot of my online classes already. I've already emailed a lot of parents to let them know that they need to get a copy of it. The in-person students, they will have a copy provided to them and that they will obviously return at the end of the reading. Students must be completing two achieve articles for me a week. This must be done online and for homework. Um, as we transition back to being fully online, or sorry, excuse me, fully in person for the brick and mortar students, they will have to be doing achieve for homework. That'll be the only homework I assign for them is to do at least two achieve articles a week. Um, obviously, I cannot give them class time to do it because um, I do not have a class set of laptops like we've had in the years past. So they will have to do two achieve articles a week for homework. That'll be the only homework I assign. Uh, online students, it will be the same. Um, I will no longer be giving class time to do it, but it's simple. An article should take 15, 20 minutes at the most, and they only have two to complete. So you're talking, you know, less than an hour worth of homework in a whole week. It's really not that bad. So parents, just make sure you're keeping up for or with your child with that because um, I'm a little nervous with that with because I've always had them do it in class. Um, so I'm a little nervous to see like my achieve numbers drop, but hopefully not. As long as parents stay invested, uh, the kids will stay invested as well. How to turn in work for in person students. Uh, I will not be accepting any more work online uh, once we have transitioned back to fully uh, in person. I will have them just like traditionally. They will turn in work to me. Um, that is because I do feel like for my sake, it is easier for me to grade it on pen and paper. Um, so that's the way I prefer. Now for the online students, of course, you will have to submit the work to me uh, virtually, which is fine. Um, Got to make exceptions during times like these. So it just takes me a little bit longer and it's a little bit harder to grade. You know, you think about like if you're grading an essay, it's kind of hard to provide notes on a typed document as opposed to, you know, something that's written. You can just write your notes you know, off to the side. So that's all, um, just makes it a little bit difficult. It takes me a little bit longer to grade, but like I said, in-person students, you'll be submitting work to me uh, in class. Uh, online will be through focus. Uh, please note that I will accept work through email, um, but I would like that as a last resort, focus isn't working or something along that lines. I would prefer uh, focus, um, but do not submit work to me through Teams. Um, I will not see Teams work. I will not check Teams work. So if you submit work through Teams, um, it won't be seen. So focus and then at worst email. Um, speaking of email, that is my email address, takishm at duvalschools.org. And then that is my phone number to get me or to get you into my classroom. 
904-266-1200, extension 031303. A lot of zeros, a lot of threes. Um, I would advise email. I get emails sent directly to my phone like a text message. And for those parents who have already emailed me, you should see that I'm pretty swift to respond. Um, I like to respond throughout the day as I have time. Um, and even you know if it's in the evening, um, I have no problem responding to an email or right then and there. If I'm just sitting on the couch you know, watching TV or whatever, I have no issues with responding to a parent. So please email me. That's the quickest and most efficient way to get a hold of me. But of course, if you have something more in depth you want to talk to me about, you may call me at that phone number or email me and say, hey, can you call me? And then you know, whenever I'm free, I absolutely will call you as quickly as I can. Uh, for tutoring hours and online days, um, online, I will help students virtually from two to three any day, Monday through Friday. I simply ask for students to plan the day with me in advance. So what I mean by that is because I'm so busy after school, I shouldn't say I'm busy, but because I do a lot of things after school, um, I don't want to pinpoint a certain day. You know, one day um, I could be staying after for athletic director duties on a Monday. The next week it could be on a Thursday. Just so that's why I don't want to set a certain day. So that's why I always like for the students to come to me in advance say, hey, Ms. Jackers, can you stay after with me or help me virtually on Tuesday or Wednesday? And then on, of course, I'm going to say yes, because the students are my top priority. As long as I don't have anything planned, you know, I have to be home, you know, at three o'clock or something, uh, I will help. Um, so just come with me or come check with me in advance. Same more in person. Of course, in person, they will be inside of my classroom, but it's still the same set of rules. I don't have a set day that I stay after because of the many after school activities I'm involved in. Um, so just come to me a day or two in advance. And as long as I'm free, I will say yes, uh, especially when it comes to writing. Um, writing is a big thing. Writing is an easy thing for like I can really help students with uh, when it comes to tutoring. And I feel like a lot of students don't take advantage of that, but I feel like the students who do, I do see an improvement with their writing almost immediately. So just a little tidbit, if your students are getting low writing scores and focus, sign up for tutoring, come see me for that. Grading policy and makeup work. Uh, grades, this is just kind of the breakdown of how I do class. I mean, how I uh, put grades into focus. Class is 10 points, achieve is 20. Thought questions on achieve are 10. Essays are 60. Common assessments are 40. Those would be uh, quizzes that are given every other week. Notebook checks are 20 to 30 points. Those will be done uh, for in-person students uh, once a quarter. And then end of quarter exams are 50 points. The amount of points students earn divided by the total points possible will produce their quarter grades. In short, just look at focus. It does all the math for you. Uh, keeping tabs, please check focus multiple times throughout the week. I don't like uh, to be buried with work. I like to as soon as, I should say as soon as, but as quickly as I can, uh, as soon as students turn in work to put it back, uh, to put the grade into focus. So please check multi uh, focus multiple times a week. I'd hate for you to check you know, one day and your student has an 84 and then you haven't checked in two weeks and now all of a sudden it's a 64. All right, so just try to check it a couple days throughout the week. Uh, makeup directions for in-person. Students must see me or email me for their makeup work. I will allow however many days they were out to complete the work. Uh, and for the students that are fully online, all videos are recorded and posted into Teams. So all of our lessons will are posted into Teams. So students, of course, can watch those online videos and of course they may post in teams anytime throughout the day i've expressed that to them they can post anytime throughout the day in teams and i get a notification of it on my phone i respond um, as quickly as i can so please watch the online lessons to see what we went over that day some final notes please email me as often as you want i kind of already uh, talked about that already i'm very swift to respond uh, if you see your student with a grade of a zero in focus, that means they have not done the assignment. No student will ever get a zero for me if they completed the assignment. So if you see a zero, that means they have not done it. Uh, please have them do the assignment. I'll put in the grade that they, they earned. Uh, ask your student the following questions. In-person students, do you have an ELA notebook that you bring to class daily? Online, do you have a copy of To Kill a Mockingbird? Uh, for both online and in-person, are you all caught up with the Achieve? Are you doing two Achieves a week? Uh, both classes. How did you do on your first essay? If students scored below a 70, I recommend they set a date for me uh, to tutor them. And then at the very bottom, it's kind of hidden, but it says, did you submit your summer reading assignment? Again, just look into focus. Um, and if it is a zero, again, that means they never submitted it. Uh, they can still submit it, obviously, until the end of the first nine weeks. All right, so that is all for me. I'm going to go back into Teams now. All right.
And if you guys have any questions, like I said, feel free to email me, uh, call me. Email me is the way that I prefer. Thank you guys for watching this. Hope you guys have a good rest of your evening.